in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen peace be with you my dear friends and blessings be upon you springs of kamal sharing with you daily bread today friday 3rd of february and we are in the fourth week in ordinary time cycle a and today is the first friday of the month and today also we remember two saints saint blaise bishop and martyr and saint ansgar a bishop as it is today first friday of the month let us not forget to consecrate our hearts our homes and our lives to the most sacred heart of jesus and now it is our time to be with god o god come to our aid o lord make us to help us all glory be to you father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen gospel acclamation blessed are those who with a noble and a generous heart take the word of god to themselves and yield a harvest through their perseverance alleluia a reading from the holy gospel according to st mark chapter 6 verses 14 to 29 King Herod had heard about Jesus since by now his name was well known some were saying John the Baptist has risen from the dead that is why miraculous powers are at work in him others said he is Elijah others again he is a prophet like the prophets we used to have but when Herod heard this he said it is John who said i cut off and he has risen from the dead Now it was the same Herod who had sent John to have arrested and had him chained him up and put him in prison because of Herodias his brother Philip's wife whom he had married for John had told him it is against the law for you to have your brother's wife as for Herodias she was furious with him and wanted to kill him but she wasn't able to because Herod was afraid of John knowing him to be a good and holy man and gave him his protection when he had heard him speak he was greatly perplexed yet he liked to listen to him an opportunity came herod's birthday when he gave a great banquet for the nobles of his court and his army officers and leading figures in galilee when the daughter of the same herodias came in and danced she delighted herod and all his guests So the king said to the girl ask me anything you like and i will give it to you and he swore her on an oath i will give you anything you ask even half of my kingdom she went out and said to her mother what shall i ask for she replied the head of the john the baptist the girl hurried back to the king and made a request i want you to give me right now the head of the john the baptist on a dish The king was deeply disturbed but king thinking of his own oath that he swore and his guests he was reluctant to break his word so the king sent at once one of his bodyguard with others to bring the head of the John the Baptist the man went off and beheaded him in prison and then he brought the head of a John the Baptist on a dish he gave it to the girl and the girl gave it to her mother when john the baptist disciples heard about this they came and took his body and laid him in a tomb this is the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ my dear brothers and sisters in christ today i would like to share with you the life of saint blaise few points on his life because it goes in line with the gospel saint blaise first he was a physical doctor then he became a spiritual doctor then he died as a martyr according to the santa sanctorum he was martyred by beaten tortured with the iron combs then he was beheaded and saint blaise is the patron saint of ulcomas wild animals candle makers and ent ailments is called spiritual ent specialist all those who got ailments of ear nose and throat 
and he will obtain healing for us. An incident is recorded from his life. In the year 316, the governor of Cappadocia and of Lesser Armenia, Agricolo, arrested this bishop St. Blaise, being a Christian. On their way to jail, a woman set her only son who was struck with the object, a fish bone in his throat. He was battling and he was about to die. She pleaded Blaise and Blaise miraculously cured the child and saved his life. In some countries, in some parishes, even now, on the feast of St. Blaise, throats are blessed. After the Mass, two candles are held in the shape of X and throats are blessed. I used to do that and I still do that. And today we have a healing Mass. Being a first Friday of the month at Mimosa Shrine, we do have a healing Mass at 7 p.m. my dear friends. If you can, please join us. Looking forward to see you. Now, coming back to the Word of God, in comparison with the life of the saint, Saint Blaise, I see there are two women, one woman in the gospel, the other woman in the life of a Saint Blaise. In the life of Saint Blaise, a humble woman, a humble mother, desperately coming and asking to save her child. And in the gospel we see a vengeful woman, Herodias. Gospel says she had a grudge against John the Baptist, wanted to kill him, could not. Perhaps. She was waiting for an opportunity to kill him. This woman was desiring, waiting to take her revenge. Brothers and sisters, she digs two graves because it is said, he who plots to hurt others often ends up hurting themselves. How nicely the psalmist say, he who digs pit for others will fall into the pit themselves. John the Baptist, the victim of this vengeful woman, Gospel says John was a fearless prophet who denounced the evil act of marriage of Herod and Herodias. He was not afraid to speak the truth and he pays the price for it. They were able to chop off his head but they were not able to bury the truth. At the end, truth always triumphs. It is not able to. Dear brothers and sisters, it is noble to be a prophet who are unwilling to compromise the truth rather than being cowards who chose to remain silent against the crime and the truth. Dear brothers and sisters, we can destroy the evidences. We can shut the mouths of those who witness, but we cannot silence our conscience. We can hide evil, but we cannot escape its guilt. We have two saints of the day to pray for us. In fact, we have three saints from the Gospel John the Baptist, Saint Blaise, the saint of the day, and Saint Ansga to intercede for us. Now we remain a few seconds of silence. Let us pray. Most sacred heart of Jesus, through the immaculate heart of Mary, with the thankfulness and with the gratitude, I have come before you, Lord, to acknowledge that you are my creator, that you are my savior. I praise and glorify you. Lord Jesus, I live in your kingdom, I live in your presence, and I come to your feet. As I continue to live in your presence, Lord, and as I express my love, my faith, I seek your blessings upon my families, upon our friends, upon the people whom I love and care, upon the people about whom I worry. I ask your healing touch upon all those who are sick and the suffering and the housebound, those elderly, those who are lonely, those who are looking for your healing touch. Those who are suffering with a life-threatening sickness, all our brothers and sisters out there suffering with the cancer, and all those who are mentally ill, for all those who are disabled people, unable to manage themselves. Lord, we pray for all those who are constantly experiencing all kinds of aches and pains. I pray for all those who are living in sorrow, sadness, pain and fear, looking for people, your healing touch, physical healing, spiritual healing, emotional healing. Lord, I pray for all those who are happy and I also pray for all those who are not so happy. I pray for all those who are living a busy, stressful life. I pray for all those who are hungry for your word and longing for your peace and presence. I pray for the homes and families that are struggling and battling. 
I continue to pray for every marriage, every couple. Lord, I pray for all those singles looking for life partners. I pray for all those who are divorced, still living in hurt and wounds. I pray for the widows. I pray for the orphans. We pray for all those who are away from their family, loved ones. Pray for those who are in jail, those who are in prison, those who are in rehab centers, those who are in hospitals. Lord, I pray for the addicts. We continue to pray for the drug addicts, alcoholics, those who are caught up with the bad habits. We pray for the criminals. We pray for the conversion of sinners. We pray for the salvation, the deceased members of our own family. Brothers and sisters, now let's pray for ourselves. Let's pray for one another. I pray for you, you pray for me. And we all say together, O most sacred heart of Jesus, we place all our trust in you. Most loving heart of Jesus, we place all our trust in you. Most sweet heart of Jesus, we place all our trust in you. Mary, our mother, pray for us. Blessings for the day. May Almighty God bless you all, my dear friends, wherever you are and whatever you are going through. May the blessings of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain in your hearts and homes now and always. Amen. Have a nice day, my dear friends. A peaceful Friday, a blessed weekend. Love to you and your families. Yes, love you always for the marriage.